This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. The Commonwealth champ, Emma Dolan, joins me. Thank you very much for giving me some of your time. Um, fight week, two days out. Um, but before we talk all fight stuff, how are we? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Excited for a big week in Sheffield. Um, two big shows and a kind of a bit of a boxing buzz around the city. Um, yeah, how do you kind of feel as a fighter when you're two days out? Because I know some fighters get a little bit tetchy and they kind of just want to get in and fight. Obviously, you've got to do the talking, still making weight, etc. cetera. Um, are you one of them just kind of want to get in and do the business now? Yeah, I mean, I want to get in. I'm, I'm pretty chilled out, to be fair. I'm one of them lucky ones that don't struggle the weight too much, so everybody hates me, but <laughs> I'm, I'm quite chilled out. I'm looking forward to getting in there now and uh, putting a good display on. Yeah, it's a wicked fight with you and Nicola. I um, just want to take it back to your Commonwealth title win on home patch as well. Um, how much did that night mean to you? I guess kind of, well, you believe there's more to come, but to that point, everything you could have dreamed of, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's brilliant. I mean, I'm from North originally, so I moved up to Newark to train with uh, Carl Greaves. So really, it was kind of like an away show. Obviously, I wasn't the away fighter, you know, people there to support me. But um, yeah, it was brilliant. You know, it was my first fight with Carl as well, so it couldn't have gone any better, really. And uh, it was a tough fight. It was a tough fight, the one I had to work for when I was in there, and uh, I took a lot from it. So yeah, it's great. It's put me in good stead uh, moving forward to this one. Yeah, like I said, this is a really good fight. Um, coming in as the away fighter, although you're the belt holder, um, I know Nicola's said a few things. She's really confident. What sort of fight are you expecting between you two, kind of in the ring, stylistically, I guess? Um, I haven't, I'll leave a lot of it to Carl. I think she's going to come and have a go in that. I think she's going to figure out pretty soon she's in a real fight. I don't think she's really been in a proper fight yet, which isn't her fault, but um, she's been in with a lot of uh, sort of road warriors, journey women. Um, when you're in there with somebody who wants to win, it's a completely different, completely different battle. Obviously, I had that in my last fight against a tough Tanzanian, and uh, she really wanted to win. She wanted to take my head off, so um, I've experienced that, and I don't think Nicola's experienced that, and I think she will, uh, she'll realise pretty soon as soon as that bell goes. Well, that's getting me excited, because I feel like we've got a bit of a firefight on then. Um, you said that obviously she hasn't fought anyone of your level there, so you feel like there's kind of perhaps going to be an element of surprise. No matter what she's seen of you, no matter what she's heard of you kind of on the circuit, you feel like there's perhaps an element of surprise when she gets in there with you and feels like, actually, yeah, there's someone coming at me here. Yeah. yeah, I think people can watch me box and I'm this big, long, lanky, awkward looking thing, but, you know, when you're in the ring with me, it's completely different, you know. I don't look very strong, but I'm fairly strong for the weight and uh, I've got a good range control and good distance control, so... She'll find out on fight night, won't she? You know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to doing what I can do, and I'm 100% uh, confident in what I can do as well. So, roll on fight night. You feel kind of protective over that belt. I know a lot of fighters who, when they win their first belt, is kind of obviously you're clutching it because you're defending it here. But I know a lot of fighters who kind of have that sort of feel. This is my baby. I don't even want you looking at it. You didn't even want Dave Allen to touch the belt then. Um, exactly. This is this is your baby, and you don't want to let go of that. So, do you feel kind of protective over kind of your first title? Yeah, I'm a very competitive person anyway. I mean, I could be playing drafts and I'm going to want to win sort of thing. So, you know, I'm going to want to keep hold of it. I'm going to want to keep uh, keep it close to my chest and that. And, uh, yeah, by any means necessary. So I'm looking forward to um, boxing for it and doing what I need to do to get the win. Just one more thing. I know it will be tunnel vision for Friday because it's a big fight on a big show, streamed on Talk Sport as well, massive. Um, but we've seen what the Commonwealth belt can do. I think Nina Hughes won it. Well done as we're kind of waiting. Um, Ticey Gallagher won it, and I know she's kind of knocking on the door for world fighting for the European. So, winning it at the oh, fight, is that yeah, fighting for a world title now, winning that, knocking on the door of massive fights and, and, and big titles. Um, this is a really big night for you. Have you thought about the potential beyond this? Yeah, I mean that's always there in your head. I know how many doors this uh, fight will open. Um, I know obviously I've gone a little bit under the radar. This GBM show has really helped with that. It's getting my name out there a lot, but um, yeah, I. I'm massively looking forward to uh, winning this fight and then uh, I'll give you a good call-out video after that. I'll call out everybody in the division for you. <laughs>